京港铁路，当时的时速呢是三十五公里。当时呢，火车因为动力不足，火车呢上山路线呢还不能走直线，还要走直线上山。二零一九年建成的京张高铁，时速达到了三百五十公里。七月二十五日，由外交部主办的驻华使节步入中国中铁活动在北京举行。活动现场，中国中铁相关负责人讲述中国铁路的发展历程。使节们纷纷表示，中国高铁不仅速度快，乘坐也很舒服。Every week I try to, to, to have a train from Beijing to some places. I just returned from Inner Mongolia. From the consumer, you have your uh, 5G uh, while train uh, goes and you like, uh, have the distance which is like about 1,000 kilometers and you go it for two, three hours, which is very, very nice. So I've taken the, from Beijing to Shanghai the, the Gautier. I just seeing the speed is it's unbelievable. It's very, it's, very, it's very easy and convenient. You don't have to do check-in, you don't have to wait for all of the procedures to get to Shanghai, you're right in the middle of the, of the city, you just take the metro, it's very convenient. It's really very impressive. We have seen the machines working, we have seen innovation, technology, talents. Everybody is looking uh, forward to this kind of cooperation because the railway system in China is a success story and everybody would look at it as a model and as a partner also for us as countries. 一带一路倡议提出以来，中国列车穿山过海，连通世界，将中国共商、共建、共享的发展理念和互联互通的发展模式带向全球。使节们表示，中国铁路成为一带一路建设和国际产能合作的亮丽名片。We had only about 24 uh, trains from you. Europe to China, and now we have more than 900,000 containers per year. So we, we like more than 24 times increased the number of the overload of our uh, logistics. So that is why uh, Belt and Road Initiative for us is a very successful case, and our participation in them is very, very beneficial for us. Infrastructure, there are many roads that have been built by China, and there are a lot of many. I cannot number all of them because there are many. For example, the Central African uh, Cultural uh, Center. It's under building, under construction now. It's also being built by China. So I think the China development model is a pragmatic one. And my country, we are committed to follow the Chinese model so that we can also move ahead uh, in the development of our country. 今年是共建“一带一路”倡议提出十周年。驻华使节表示，期待下一个十年，共建“一带一路”将为中国和世界打开新的给予之窗。You know, I really hope that we can continue to learn more about these companies, to learn more about the expertise that they have to offer, because we see the work that they've done here in China. But in order to learn about how they can translate that into our own unique environment, I think that requires a lot of people-to-people -people connection and also technical-to-technical -technical cooperation. Honduras is is we're very behind on a lot of uh, on a lot of uh, infrastructure projects and. The experience that China has and the affordability that China is providing uh, is a great opportunity for Honduras to join right in the, in the technological investment. Uh, we lack a lot of infrastructure projects, we need to rebuild schools, we need to rebuild hospitals. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for, for cooperation between our two countries.